Hey, what's up guys? It's Casey and I want to talk to you about referral traffic. So this is where um, people come from, let's say Facebook or some other website. They come to your site and you want to track that user as it was a referral from Facebook.com or referral from some other website.com. So you're not using UTM parameters. It's just a standard link. And I'm going to show you how that works, why it works, in a case where it doesn't work and where traffic can come through as direct. So let me, and, and I'm going to give you this example first and then I'll give you the te technical details and all that. So I'm going to clear my browser cookies and everything. Now you can open an incognito window if you want, but I'm just going to clear my cookies and stuff. So let me show you an example that works. So on Facebook, I just put a, like a test link, right? Um, let me go to my profile and I have a link here that's going to http colon slash slash outsourcing for entrepreneurs.com. Now I'm going from https, which is a secure site. This is the referral URL. The full referring URL is this URL. So when I go here, I can show you what the referring data is. And that data is hosted in this a uh, little variable called document.refer. So let me inspect the page and show you exactly what it has. So if I, if you do document.refer, it says facebook.com. Now the full referring URL was actually facebook.com slash page 3 but the refer in this instance is facebook.com. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell you why the, the last part of the URL got stripped, but let me show you an instance where the referring URL comes through as empty. If it comes through as empty, that's a direct lead. So let's uh, let's clear my browser history again, or my cookies. I'm gonna just close this stuff down, and let me open a new window. So let me go to another link, and this is from SecretMysticCrystals.com. And I'm going to click on that same link, go into the same site. It's HTTP www.outsourcingforentrepreneurs.com. I'm going to click on it. And the page is going to load. And let's look at the referring URL, document.refer. It came through as empty. So this traffic is going to be recorded as direct. So and the technical definition of what a direct lead is, is when there's no UTM data, there's no tracking parameters, there's no referring URL, which is the referrer. If there's nothing there, then it's direct. That's how, that's how a direct lead happens. So the, the question is, why, why when I came from Facebook, did it say I was referred from Facebook.com? So that's a referral from Facebook. And why did I come, when I came from SecretMysticCrystals.com, there's no referring URL? Like, why is that? And here's the technical explanation why. Let me show you the referring policy that browsers use. And there's a refer policy. Now, it's not fully adopted by all browsers, but the major browsers do use this policy. And what this says is there's all these different types of policies, but I'm gonna break this down you know, a little, e little, little more simplistic. Whenever you go from a, a non-secure site, HTTP, to HTTP, so it's an insecure site to an insecure site, that's good. We'll be able to capture the referring URL. When it goes from HTTP to a secure site, so insecure, so your upgraded protocols, you're upgraded to a secure site, that's good. When you're going from a secure to secure site, that's good. When you're going from a secure site and you're downgrading to a insecure site, then then you don't get a referring URL. And this has always been the default behavior for referring traffic and browsers. Now, browser the browser the stand the people who create the standards and everything they created this refer policy because there were instances like Facebook where they said, hey, we're going to use a secure site. But, but people are putting links out there that are going to a non-secure site, but we still want them to know they came from Facebook. We don't want them to know that they came from this 
person's profile page, like where it had facebook.com slash caseypage3, we don't want them to know that they came from this. We really, we just want them to know that they came from this right here. That's, that's what we want to send them. But even if they're getting downgraded, we, we want to send this data, right? Uh, so that's where the refer policy comes in. And this is what this explains. There's all these different types of refer policies. So if you're coming from like this page and you're going to any domain or path and the refer policy is no refer, then you're not going to get a refer. It's going to come through as empty. That becomes direct. So there's all these different examples and scenarios. Um, this guy has a great little blog post that breaks it down. So these are the the types of referring policies and he says for a no refer, if you're going from a secure site to a insecure site, there, there's, there, you know, really any in any instance, there's going to be no refer at all. And so no refer when downgraded, this is a very, very common, like almost the default referring policy for most sites. Um, if you're going from a secure site to a non-secure site, it's going to be no refer. And then there's there's other scenarios where you do get a refer. Then there's a scenario where you don't get a refer, right? So, anyways, there's this referring policy that has a lot to do with referral tracking. You know, if you want to get accurate data, uh, this is a big deal. So let's look at the technical reason here. On let's go back to uh, this. Actually, we we can just click this link and let me inspect the page and show you the network data coming through and I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh this page and I'm gonna show you the browser headers so here's the the page load for, for the for the page and here's the refer policy so the the other site didn't have a refer policy set and the refer the default policy was no refer when downgraded so since it got downgraded from HTTPS to HTTP, it did not pass a referring URL. So that's why that came through as direct. Uh, let's go to Facebook and let's click on that link that, you know, because we're coming from a secure site. Let's go, let's go check that out and let me show you the browser headers for that. So let me go to my profile. Let me click on this link and let me inspect the page. Go into the network tab, and I'm just going to reload the page so that that thing the there, there's that, and so the refer policy from Facebook was origin when cross origin, so who sets that? Facebook sets that referring policy, and the definition of origin when cross origin says if you're going from facebook.com to somewhere else regardless if it's secure or not pass only this origin URL don't pass the path and the details and the query parameters and all that stuff only pass the origin which is this and that I mean so that's how referral data gets set and that's true for any any tracking scripts that's Google Analytics that's anything you anything out there that that tracks leads or anything this is how it works it uses the document dot refer and that refer is going to be set in certain cases now how can you get really accurate data well the the best way to do it is to put an ssl certificate on your site and cr make this you know https like you know make it a secure site that's going to give you referral data uh pretty much every time unless the referring site sets a no refer policy meaning they don't want you to know that somebody came from their site but that's very uncommon that's not a very common thing um, so anyways that's that's how referral data works when it comes to lead tracking